the columns and rows of a spreadsheet are highly customizable. The number of things you can do with them, you can make them bigger, smaller, hide them, move them around, etc. So what we're going to just go through some of the, the ways to do that. Now, as with everything in Excel, there's always multiple ways of doing it. So you'll see if you go here on the Home tab to Cells, you'll see there's something called Insert. and You've got options of inserting a cell, rows, columns, etc. and Delete. So there's many ways to do it. There are also a lot of shortcuts. We prefer the right-click method. So we're going to show that, but just keep in mind there's many ways of doing it. First, let's look at, at inserting and deleting rows and columns. So if I decided, for whatever reason, that this column over here, which looks like it's blank, I, don't, I no longer want, it's very simple to delete it. What you need to do is highlight the whole column. And because this would be a very tedious process, what you should rather do is you click on the actual letter. And when you do that, you'll see it highlights the entire column. We can highlight one column, or if I click and hold and drag, we can highlight many columns. So what we wanted to do here was delete. So all I do is, while I'm hovering over here, I right click, and you'll see we get a whole bunch of options. There's our cut, our copy, etc. And then you've got insert and delete. I'm gonna choose delete for now. When I click delete, you'll see what it has done is taken that entire column and deleted it. We're going to just undo it. What happens if we want to do the same thing, but now we actually want to insert a column. So over here, you'll see we've got projected costs and actual, you can barely see them. I actually want a gap between those two. So what I can do is I highlight the column again. I right click. There's an option here to insert. And when I click insert, you'll see it creates a new column and quite useful, it adopts the formatting of either side of it, or the actual side, and it makes it a little bit easier to work with. I'm just going to undo that. Everything we've done here with columns can be done with rows. So if, for example, we decided that just before the total we wanted a gap, I hover over the 17, row 17, I click, I can then right click, You'll see I get the same selection. I'm going to say insert, and you'll see it immediately inserts the row. Just can go back to what we had it as. Just a warning with inserting and deleting rows and columns. Elsewhere in the course, you'll see the risks that it has to Excel. But if you forget, for example, to do that, to highlight the entire row, and perhaps I'm going over here. When I right click, you'll see there is an option for insert. But when I click insert, it asks me a couple of questions. So it's saying, do you only want to move the cell right, only move that cell down, or do you want to do the entire row or entire column? So in this case, we're going to say entire row, and please be very careful about that. Always assume entire row. There's lots of risks associated with this, these, this functionality. So when I say OK, you'll see it does the same thing. So that's just another way of doing it. We highly, highly recommend that you explicitly tell Excel what to do. Highlight a row, highlight a column, and tell it what's, what to do. So I'm going to go back here and say Delete. Just some tips and tricks related to inserting and deleting rows and columns. So if you want to insert multiple columns, so you don't have to go like this, click, and then right click and do them one at a time. If I wanted, say, four new columns, I highlight those four. So I've clicked and held. I right click on one of them and I say insert. And you'll see four columns are inserted next to each other. If, however, what I want is a new column, then the numbers, then a new column. So when I highlight, hover, and drag, it assumes you want it all to happen at the same time. Previously, you may have learned that it's possible in Excel by using your control button to separately identify or activate cells. So when we used it previously, I could click on that cell, and if I hold my control key down, 
I can click on other cells. You can do the same thing with a column, so I can highlight that column. If I hold Control down and I highlight column D, you'll see it's actually separated there. I'm going to hold Control down again, E, F. Now when I say insert, notice that now it inserts a column, leaves the one column, inserts a column, etc. So that highlighting is no longer really relevant. There are the four columns inserted in the areas we want. I'm just going to undo it. Exactly the same thing works with rows. You can highlight multiple rows and insert. Or if I highlight a row, hold my control button down and choose a number of rows and they don't have to be next to each other. When I say right click and insert, you'll see it inserts it.